1943, Swiss chemist Albert Hoffman accidentally discovered the psychoactive effects of LSD when he absorbed a small amount through his fingertips while synthesizing the compound at Sandoz Laboratories. What began as a research project in ergot alkaloid derivatives led to an unexpected discovery that would later impact medicine far beyond Hoffman's original intentions. Decades later in the 1990s, medical researchers began noticing anecdotal reports that some cluster headache sufferers experienced relief after LSD exposure, despite the compound's controlled status. Early clinical investigations revealed that sub-hallucinogenic doses of LSD and related compounds could dramatically reduce both the frequency and intensity of cluster headaches, sometimes described as suicide headaches due to their extreme pain. Scientists discovered that LSD affects the brain's serotonin system, specifically targeting the 5-HT2A receptors, which play a key role in both psychedelic experiences and the neurological processes behind cluster headaches. Today, ongoing research into non-hallucinogenic analogs of LSD represents one of the most promising frontiers for treating this debilitating condition, potentially offering relief to thousands who suffer from what was once an intractable neurological disorder.